Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see like a, how we can apply a clear all filter actually. So today, like this is the something that actually we work on regularly. Let's say if I select one filter 2020-2023, until and unless I select back on this 2023, it won't be uh, uh, it won't be deselected. But let's say we have ten different filters of five, at least minimum five actually we are going not ten. So we want to see like uh, how we can remove this thing up to filters by simple button. So let's get started for this. So let's say if I have to do this, I have to go to this uh, insert then button. Then I have to select the clear all filter. We, we have the apply all filter as well. It's the uh, same thing. Uh, one will be used for applying all the filters existing and one for the uh, clear all filter. So let's say if I select 2023. And let's say we have one more filter of months and then we select March or X, Y, Z. And what we want to clear this filter by just clicking on this filter. If I just hit control and click button, it will be done. Now, one more thing that actually I want to interested in not just showing this thing, but the other thing is like, let's say if I select 2023, okay. In this, I've just select the production. Okay. If you see for production, we have like two, two, 233, okay. Highlighted value that process count is only one. If now, if I hit control, clear, clear all filters, it will just filter this thing, the slicer. What about the selection? It is not but getting removed. And just imagine if you have 10, 15, uh, let's say 10, 15, not six, seven metrics are there in the chart and you have to click here again to back it in, to back this thing. So you can click anywhere on the chart also, it will do. But is there any way to do this thing also? Because this is recently we have discovered like that our dashboard was very cluttered. Actually, the business wanted to have this kind of thing. I'm not in personal favor of that. So if you want to do such kind of a thing, how we can achieve this thing? So let's see how we can achieve this. For this, we need to create a one bookmark simple here also. I have to deselect everything first. Then we have this reset option again. Click on the reset button and as per your requirement, wherever it you like to fit it, you can do it. Now, we want to create action. Let's say if I select this thing, if I just select bookmark, nothing will happen. Um, reset button, nothing will happen. We want to clear this thing. So first, deselect all the chart. Nothing should be selected. Then go to this uh, uh, view section, bookmark selection. Now, you have to add one bookmark. Let's name it as reset. We have reset the thing. Then we have to create action for this particular reset. If you see the moment I hit on action, it, the control click option is available. Go to this, select the action. Let's say we, whatever the bookmark we have created, which bookmark the reset one, let's say reset one. Now it's done. No, let's see how it is actually. And we just need to update this thing actually. So let's say if I click on marketing this thing, the marketing has been uh, uh, filtered value by clicking interactions in. and let's select the 2023 only. So if you see in marketing 2023, the blah, 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 other things are there. If I just hit the control clip, the filter is deselected, but not the chart and everything. Now, if I hit on reset button, the everything get deselected on the click. So this <clears throat> clear all filter, actually helps to remove all the filters when you have five, six filters, then you can use this. But let's say if you want to reset your whole visual, then just we can create this thing and in place at the top left corner or right corner, wherever bottom right corner. So you can just uh, uh, <clears throat> use this thing. And this helps actually a lot. Like this is recently I discovered. So I thought it makes sense to share this thing with uh, you. Uh, thank you so much. Hopefully you like this video. Follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.